Okay, and we're, this is a casual event. This is a casual event. That's good. We're kind of into the whole casual right. thing here. I, I'm, I'm bringing out like uh, candy though. This is a 1950 <laughs> Les Paul special. Wow. Clean. A yeah, real one. This is a real one. And that, it's just pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Boy, I think. Yeah. You know, huh? But. People start phoning in their donations so I can take this home. <laughs> <laughs> Which would be great. So we have a car amplifier here, and by chance, we have Steve Carr car amplifiers. Get the tie in there. That's right. And hey, gang. We, this is Willie's in Minnesota, and you've got family in Fairmont. That's true. Yeah, that's, that's cool. cool. That's cool. Is it, it's the city of lakes or something like that. There is a big couple of big lakes out there. I mean, yeah, there's five of them that they, yeah. you know, all the houses kind of circle the lake. Yeah. It's actually a very pretty place. It's a very pretty place. Yeah. I think I caught my first walleye out there. Huh. But car amplifiers so we're having a hard time getting car amplifiers and we mentioned earlier um i understand you're having some supply problems yeah we are um primarily uh transformers and i should say we've worked with the same company in chicago uh really since 1999 believe it or not and they are great they're really great people excellent quality um reasonable about everything but they've you know, they've been having trouble too, getting the laminations, the steel, for a host of reason, reasons, and uh, some of which are actually interesting, if I could go on. Yeah. Um, but this is what I'm, I'm We're told. We're all geeks, so yeah. yeah. So the, the magnetic steel, which is um, what power transformers and output transformers and chokes, reverb drives, all the stuff that guitar amps use, apparently is somewhat of a byproduct, product, maybe not a byproduct, but when you make steel for cars, you're left with something, and then they'll run some of this magnetic steel. As you know, we just got a bit, we'll, we'll do that. And uh, they had told me that with the chip shortage and car manufacturing went down for a bit, this leftover process also dipped. Wow. At the same time, demand wow. for audio transformers, like everything, went way up. And so they just had the, he said they used to be able to order on Monday and they'd have the lamination on Tuesday. Right. And the, these are just the parts of the transformers. And oh, now, the order's on Monday, and they say, maybe in two months. Yikes. So, it's thrown everything uh, kind of With chips, off. you can't get cars. If they can't make cars, they can't get scrap. And if you can't get scrap, we can't get amplifiers. That's what you're telling me. Yeah, and maybe calling it scrap is the wrong thing. I but, get it, but, I but, get but, it. but same idea, you yeah. know, this is, they're related. Yeah, right. Uh, who knew? Right. I didn't know. And then magnetics are going up too, because right? we hear about the cars oh, yeah. and magnets and speakers and... Let me tell you more about my troubles, uh, <laughs> <laughs> since you asked. But, uh, so, you know, we buy uh, speakers and the amps and our good friends at Eminence, <clears throat> and I know with uh, Celestion too, uh, one of the big things that's changed for them is the shipping. They told me that it used to be uh, one of these containers. All the magnets are made in China, I think. Uh, All the, they're not made in the U.S. Cobalt is coming out of China, right. and yeah. So right. they're shipping these containers of magnets in, and before the pandemic, it would cost five thousand dollars to get one of those big things yeah. delivered to them, and now it's thirty thousand. They say wow. if you can get it, it's a little bit of a bidding war. Wow! And so that has essentially doubled the cost of our speakers. Wow! That's yeah. actually really interesting. I yeah. think those guys find that interesting too. Because again, we're all geeks. Here. It was terrifying and interesting all at the yeah, same time. I, I mean, I bet. And the the deal with them as well, just having this open ended. We don't know when we can get it to you. Yeah. And so, so we, for so long, we just had really solid uh, delivery dates. If they told you it was, you whenever October fourth, that's the day it showed up. Yeah. And that's all different. So. That's interesting because we we are having trouble finding uh, uh, the, a lot of these amps, and of course all of these are hand wired, high quality stuff. A guy doesn't <laughs> cut back on no on parts. I'm just thinking more troubles. I, I guess that's, just say, come on, you can. You tell guys us. are great listeners. And so, <laughs> so what else? Supply with the plywood has, has gone berserk. Yes, and uh, the, luckily uh, most of our amps are, are solid pine that comes from. Oh, it's about 50 miles away from us. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's, it's uh, North Carolina, you know. That's a North Carolina pine in there. That's pine, yeah. I love it. And we have a great source that we've had for, I think, about 15 years. And that's been rock solid. The price hasn't really changed much. Mm -hmm. And delivery, no problem. But the plywood, which is not from North Carolina, 
baffles and backs. And, yeah. yeah. You know, when you need a big piece like this, the, the widest pine is about, you know, just yeah. over 11 inches. But when you need, you know, 20 inches or something, you need the plywood. And we've been using Baltic, Baltic birch, which is really great. It's a lot of different plies, so it's super stable. Yeah. And uh, that is, uh, at one point, it was five times what we were paying, you know. Yikes. But it's come down a little bit to the to the comfortable two and a half. <laughs> you feel like it's, so, it's all getting a little better, or is it worse? Uh, I think it's, uh, well, for us, it's getting, it's getting better. Uh, we were really nervous for a while as these prices and delivery just became big question marks. So we tried to buy as much as we could. Yeah. Um, just so we could keep going. But now it feels like it's a lot more stable.